I now invite Lorna forward for an important message about all were filled. Thanks, Father. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lorna Acosta. I'm here to share with you about an exciting opportunity we have, thanks to Father Guy. He has asked me to share with you today about this unique opportunity we have to help families right now who are struggling due to COVID-19. At the end of June, the Archdiocese started the All Were Filled pilot project, funded by the Archbishop's Crisis Recovery Fund, which is made possible by donors to Project Advance. The Archdiocese also acquired a grant from the Government of Canada and help from other private donors to feed families struggling, struggling to make ends meet due to the loss of work, reduced hours, or illness. A generous local food manufacturer is providing fo frozen foods at costs that we can give to families who are in need right now so no one we know goes hungry. There is no cost to the parish or the families who receive the food all we need to do as a parish family is identify the families who are in need and get them to the place to, the, to, to, to make an order. The food comes in boxes of six different food packets, each holding about seven servings of soup, entrees that can be served over rice, pasta, or potatoes. The recipients of the food have been very pleased with how delicious it is and are definitely grateful for the help. Now I want to stress that the goal of this project is to reach families who would normally not be struggling to make ends meet, but have found themselves without support and not knowing how they're going to put food on the table for their families. There is no qualification or proof of income or long-term commitment required to receive the food. It is on a week-by-week -week basis, and we just want to feed people who are in need by helping lower their food bill so they can pay their gas bills and mortgages. All a family needs to do is call or email me before 5 p.m. on Mondays to receive a box or two by Friday afternoon. We need minimal information, just enough to make sure that the food is getting to the right family to make a difference. Everything is also kept confidential. The simple process is available every week. We have found that the most effective way to help people who are in this difficult situation is to personally tell them about the project and invite and encourage them to call or email to place an order each week. So what I am inviting you to do is to think of anyone in our parish community that has lost or, or has reduced uh, the hours in their jobs uh, due to the COVID-19 and who are just actually in a uh, tight spot right now. All were filled and wondered, pardon me, um, Please let them know that you thought of them uh, when you heard about the All Were Failed project and wondered if they might be interested in participating. And if they refuse, refuse, find a gentle way to urge them again and ask them not to be brave or proud. If they still refuse, ask them if they know anyone who might need help at this time. There is no shame in participating. Uh, after Mass, I will have some flyers to distribute. Um, it'll have all the information uh, and you can also find all this stuff on our website and all of our social media pages. I thank you again for listening and I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Lona. Thanks, Father. If this ministry is up and running, it's especially thanks to Lorna, who is basically running the whole show, and Richard, who is uh, in charge of delivery. He goes to get the boxes at the caterer's uh, business in Richmond, brings them back here, and then delivers them or has them delivered to others by others. So those are the two that we, to whom we owe the success of this ministry. So on your behalf, I say thank you to Lorna and Richard. We, as Lorna mentioned, I think we are encountering a, a very strong reluctance on the part of those who are in need to ask for a box. Understandably, these are people who have probably never, ever needed to ask for help in their lives. It's not easy. Perhaps they're thinking 
we could use the help, but there's surely somebody out there who could use it much more than us. We don't want to deprive others. It might be useful to point out that there is actually no ceiling, no limit on the number of boxes that we can get from the caterer every week. So be assured by asking for a box, you are depriving absolutely nobody who needs a box of getting a box. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I wish you all a nice, fun Thanksgiving weekend. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.